With the failure of the investment bank, the public's confidence in the banking sector has been how badly shaken. So the phrase that is highlighted is how badly shaken. Options such badly shaken, that much shaky, badly shaken, too badly shaky and then no correction required. So in the given question, we know that, uh, you know, how the question in between the sentence doesn't make sense. This again is an easy one because as you read it, you are able to follow uh, which one has the error. Right? Most of you have come back and given me the right answer. Prasad has come back and said it's option 1. Let's see why it is not option 1. So we have such. right? It's an incorrect intensifier with the failure of the investment bank. So given the situation, this is the scenario we have. The public's confidence in the banking sector has been. right? Remember the whole phrase has been shaken. Let's take just this phrase alone. Can you quickly tell me which tense this is? See, badly is just an adverb intensifying the verb shaken. Present perfect, right? Present perfect tense. Has plus been plus verb 3. Shake verb 1. Shook verb 2. Shaken verb 3. We all know that for obviously perfect tense, we only need the verb 3, right? Last verb. So having said that, when in a context with this particular sentence structure form, I don't need in between a question. It doesn't make sense, right? So obviously we know that the existing highlighted phrase is incorrect. So having said this, shaken is my action verb. How, to what extent has, be, has it been shaken? Badly shaken, right? I know my adverb kind of modifies or tells me or gives me additional like, uh, information about to what extent the action took place or how how did the action take place in this context it's shaken which is the action or to what extent right did the action take place so here obviously the only context that we need is option three without the how so uh, that's why it's not option one because such again is an unrelated or unnecessary word in the context of the phrase. So for a question paper like this, you know, the ideal thing is for you to do, even in your prelims, 30 out of 30, you can easily aim to get 30 out of 30. It's really not that difficult if you pay attention to certain rules and grammar constructions. See, for example, the reason why fourth is also not appropriate because two as an intensifier is usually used for a, a negative meaning right there are exceptions but predominantly two as an intensifier used to express negative meaning so i already have the adverb badly which is giving me that meaning so i don't need this additional two which is very redundant in the sentence right so two is redundant here redundant meaning repetitive the meaning is repetitive, so I don't need too badly shaky. That's why option 4 also is incorrect. When we say, you know, we have taken the test, right? Simple example. So have taken, yes, this is present perfect tense. However, the present perfect tense is also depicted with been, right? So if I say... So, Indra has been able to have scored the highest in the test, right? This is also a present perfect tense, right? Has been able to have scored the highest in the test. So, the construction of the sentence, the form might differ, but you're still talking about an action performed during a period, right? That is still... That is not yet finished. So the test is probably still on. But so far comparing everybody, she's been able to have scored the highest in the test. Right? Just to give you an example where been also can be a part of the present perfect tense. The quotes are actively to safeguard the interests of the commuters. Let's look at the option one. The quotes are actively to safeguarding. So in this context, we understand that actively is more an adverb, right? 
which is only telling me to what extent are they safeguarding the interests of the commuters. So in the meaning of the sentence, the meaning of the sentence we understand that the adverb only expresses or intensifies to what extent or how they are expected to safeguard the interests of the commuters. It is not an adjective but in the context it is giving me the meaning of an adjective which is incorrect. Now let us look at it. So option 1 are actively to safeguarding. We understand that this is in the ing form and we have 2. 2 plus base verb, base 1, verb 1 is what we need, right? It is in the wrong form. So I eliminate option 1, right? L look at the second one, it says the courts have been actively safeguarding. Here in second option, the adverb is completing the meaning of how it is safeguarding the interests of the computer. So this seems like our option. However, let's look at option 3. The courts have to active in safeguarding. So which means something is missing here. What is missing here? Have to be, right? B is missing here. So I can't use option 3. What about option 4? The courts are actively in safeguarding. Again, I don't need this preposition in here. I can delete in, right? So that again is incorrect. So the focus here guys you need to understand is not actively is not the verb form right it is in the adverb form. So I understand that the function of an adverb is only to intensify or modify or explain the action a little more to what extent. Construction of the sentence can quickly change altogether saying the quotes are active in safeguarding the interests of the commuters right there again in that context active is my adjective describing how the quotes are functioning the quotes are active in safeguarding so that sentence the remaining sentence here this plays the role of an adjective describing the quotes right so given the context when i have option one look at the form it says are actively my adverb so i don't need this preposition here too i need to delete this too right remember the function of a preposition is only to complete the meaning sometimes i don't need the preposition it's unnecessary so likewise in option one this two preposition is not required when you delete two then the meaning is complete the quotes are actively safeguarding the interests of the commuters that makes sense and that's the exact option we have in option two now with the word active itself right so in the particular form here we don't need it in the it's not in the right form obviously so when I when I have actively an adverb form it is only telling me to what extent the interests of the commuters have been safeguarded we have to be active in social work. All of that is. So that's why when you're writing it, when I say have to be, the be form is required in this context simply because it cannot stand as a standalone action. He has to be this way because it's a descriptive word. He has to be this way. He has to perform in this way. So depending on the form, you need the be form here in this context. So the meaning changes, right? When you're saying the courts have to be active in safeguarding the interests, they are not, so you want them to. It is something that is expected or needed and they have to do this, right? So in the context, the B form is required to complete the meaning without which it seems incomplete. Plural subject, plural verb. So that is fine. No, we don't need to change R there. 